Three kids turn up to a football match. One is tall. He's 50 feet tall. Right, okay, no, okay, fine. He's not that tall. One is average height and their friend is very short. A low wall separates the stands from the field and they're in the front row. The stadium's packed. It's standing room only. The tall one can see over the wall easily. His friend can just about get her nose over, but their small companion hasn't got a chance. All of them are equal. They're all standing on the ground. They all paid the same amount for the tickets. But is it fair? A steward offers our little friend a stool to stand on and a box for his mate. Now they're all the same height. It's not equal, each is standing at a different height. But it is fair, everyone can see the game. Life is full of inequalities. Some of them are unplanned, like the height of that wall. Some have been built intentionally, like racism. When inequality exists, but isn't put right, it's called discrimination. We discriminate all the time, and that's a good thing. After all, why would you choose ugly clothes, a tasteless meal, or a boring movie? Calling someone discriminating is a compliment. It means they have good taste. The problem comes when we discriminate between people for reasons that are based on fear or prejudice. <laughs> it's fine to choose not to spend time with someone if they're hurtful to you. The problems start when you begin to treat people differently based on their race, gender, or beliefs. People who are discriminated against feel vulnerable, depressed, lonely, and fearful. Imagine how bad it feels if government, business, or society as a whole discriminates against you. How would you feel if people were against you everywhere you went?